Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve one numerical problem on three-phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem, we shall learn how to determine sending and voltage, current and power factor of a three-phase medium length transmission line using its nominal T equivalent circuit when load details and values of transmission line parameters are given. A three-phase 125 km long line operating at 50 Hz is supplying a load of 40 MV ampere at receiving end with a lagging power factor of 0 0.8. The line-to-line -line receiving end voltage is 110 kilo volts. The resistance of line is 11 ohm per phase, inductive reactance 38 ohm per phase and capacitive susceptance 300 micromo line to neutral. Using nominal T method, we have to determine the sending end voltage, the sending end current and its power factor. Let us first write down the given data. Load SL equals to 40 megavolt ampere that is equal to 40 into 10 to the power 6 volt ampere. Line to line receiving end voltage VR line equals to 110 kilovolts that is equal to 110 into 10 to the power 3 volts. For star connected system, receiving end voltage per phase, VR equals to VR line divided by root 3, that is equal to 110 into 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3, that gives us 63,508.53 volt. Given load power factor, cos phi L equals to 0 0.8, Lagging. Let us now determine power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.8 that is equal to 36.8699 degree. We know that load SL equals to root 3 times VR line into IL. Therefore, load current IL equals to SL divided by root 3 times VR line using values we get 40 into 10 to the power 6 divided by root 3 into 110 into 10 to the power 3 that gives us 209.95 ampere. Load current may be written in polar form as IL equals to IL at an angle minus phi L that is equal to 209.95 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Given resistance per phase R equals to 11 ohm, inductive reactance per phase XL equals to 38 ohm and capacitive susceptance per phase VC equals to 300 micro more that is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 more. Transmission line impedance per phase J equals to R plus J times XL that is equal to 11 plus J times 38 ohm. Now we shall calculate per phase impedance of half of the transmission line. ZH equals to half of Z that is equal to 5.5 plus J times 19 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 19.78 ohm at an angle 73.8557 degree. Let us now calculate capacitor voltage per phase Vc equals to Vr plus IL into ZH. Taking receiving end voltage per phase as reference we can write VR equals to 
508.53 volt at an angle 0 degree. We have computed load current IL equals to 209.95 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Using values we get VC equals to 63,508.53 at an angle 0 degree plus 209.95 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree into 19.78 at an angle 73.8557 degree. That gives us 66,825.73 plus J times 2498.4 volt. This may be written in polar form as 66,872.417 volt at an angle 2.1411 degree. Now we shall compute capacitor charging current. IC equals to VC into J times BC. Using values we get 66,872.417 at an angle 2.1411 degree into 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 at an angle 90 degree. That gives us 20.0617 ampere at an angle 92.1411 degree. This may be expressed in Cartesian form as minus 0.7478 plus J times 20 ampere. Now we shall determine sending end current. IS equals to IC plus IL. Load current IL may be expressed in Cartesian form as 167.96 minus J times 125.97 ampere. Using values we get IS equals to 167.2122 minus J times 105.97 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 197.96 ampere at an angle minus 32.3643 degree. Let us now determine sending and voltage per phase. Vs equals to Vc plus Is into Zh. We have computed capacitor voltage per phase. Vc equals to 66,825.73 plus J times 2498.4 volt. Sending end current Is equals to Is at an angle minus 51 equals to 197.96 ampere at an angle minus 32.3643 degree and per phase impedance of half of the transmission line ZH equals to 19.78 ohm at an angle 73.8557 degree using values we get Vs equals to 66,825.73 plus J times 2498.4 plus 197.96 at an angle minus 32.3643 degree into 19.78 at an angle 73.8557 degree. That gives us 69,758.767 plus J times 5092.5472 volt. This may be written in polar form as 69,944.404 volt at an angle 4.1753 degree. For star connected system, Line to line sending and voltage, Vs line equals to root 
3 times PS that is equal to root 3 into 69,944.404 that gives us 121.147 into 10 to the power 3 volt or 121.147 kilo volt. Vs may be expressed in polar form as Vs at an angle delta. Now we shall determine phase difference between Vs and Is. Phi s equals to delta plus phi 1 using values we get 4.1753 degree plus 32.3643 degree that gives us 36. 5396 degree. Let us now determine sending and power factor. Cos phi s equals to cos of 36.5396 degree that is equal to 0 0.8034 lagging. So today we have solved one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem, we have learned how to determine sending and voltage, current and its power factor of a three-phase medium length transmission line using its nominal T equivalent circuit when load details and values of transmission line parameters are given. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, Please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.